it is. What's happening? Now you may say, Ed, what is that weird shaped hood? It is a weird shaped hood. Why? 2008 Mini Pooper. Six speed, non turbo. Um, I'm actually going to make a deal on this car and buy this car. A buddy of mine buys and flips cars. It's a pretty decent little car. Has a dead hole on uh, number two cylinder. And when I had it running, it had a very distinct, distinctive sound to it. So I knew something was wrong with it. Now, these things are known to carbon up really bad. I've actually owned a few Mini Coopers. Uh, the Mini Coopers that I had in the past were supercharged. So they're Mini Cooper S. This one, however, is not an S. This is just a plain Mini Pooper. Uh, and why am I buying this car? Well, under our lovely administration we have now with uh, $6 gas, um, you know, I'm running around, I'm doing a lot of running, and the last Mini Cooper I had had phenomenal gas mileage. So this is probably going to be my gas saver for a hot minute, um, unless I need to drive the truck, you know, because uh, this is crazy. So anyway, I don't really like to talk politics on the channel, but it is what it is. <clears throat> so this thing had a dead hole, ran like crap, but it had a very distinct, distinctive sound to it when I was listening to it, and I went... Kind of have an idea of something's going on now if you've been around cars and motors as long as i have and you've kind of learned to know what sounds sound like it was popping back through the intake when you'd rev it up now i don't mean rev it up like put it to the floor just you know a little bit of throttle bring it up to like 1500 or something you could hear it pop, 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 pop. So, man it sounds like a bad camshaft how would sound when it would uh exhaust cam side exhaust side of a cam would be load would be worn off or rocker fell off or something well i got the valve cover off this evening and that's exactly what it is if i can get my fat fingers in there because these things are made for uh i don't know i don't know who the hell works on these damn things but anyway it looks like to me because these rockers as you can see the rockers fell off let me get my fat finger in there this one's off and this one's off so I believe the valve is stuck open or I can't quite get it out of there. Something with the follower. If I can get my hand in there, we go. Well, the roller looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go with, there we go. Yeah, the roller's good. So I'm gonna go with maybe the valves are stuck open or something. Which is a common trait. These things get carboned up, so maybe that's what happened here. <clears throat> Not quite sure, but I can actually put this back on. So it acts like the valve is hung open because um, my lobes are at the top here, as you can see. And I actually can put this right back on. I can get my fat fingers in there and I can put it back on. So I'm thinking the valves are stuck open. Maybe they're carboned up, which is... Uh, I've seen that before with these Coopers. They'll, uh, they'll carbon the valves up really bad. It's a problem. This thing's only got, I think it's got 98,000 on it or something. Doesn't have a whole ass load of miles. But the rollers feel pretty good. So I'm going to investigate it a little bit further. Um, I don't really know how I can check valve height against the other ones. I'll figure something out. But um, everything else looks pretty good. It's actually pretty clean inside. It's not a, a sludged up motor. So it was looks like it had the oil change regularly the chain and all the little plastic guides are still on there that's another common problem with these turds um you know you either love these things or you hate them i'm kind of in a mixed when they're running good i love it when it runs bad i want to throw something through the windshield the last one i parked a bitch for two years because it made me so mad so i don't know we'll see what happens with this one so i'm gonna try to figure out how i can uh see if the valves are stuck down it looks like that's what it looks like from just sticking my eyeballs in there but it is what it is so uh let's see what i can do with this thing it's not like i said not a bad little car not a hateful little thing um you know it's race red it's a pretty decent shape it's got okay tires um i get it hitting on all four cylinders it should roll right through inspection tear is clean it's not all beat up I don't want to open the door because the damn battery's half dead. And the Coopers, when you open them, when you open the door up, the window drops down just a little bit. 
it's got enough battery in it that it'll probably go down not come back up so you know i'll probably have to do a battery and a couple other little things cosmetic wise the clears peeling on the hood a little bit and there's a plastic trim piece missed off the hood nothing i really worried about but it'll be a good little beater for the summer and i don't know like i said i'll just uh it'll be a commuter car and uh run down to the beach you know or something you know i can i can drive this and uh i plan to leave my bronco down down there so you know, i can drive this turd in cognito and then getting something cool so look how at your boy i just wanted to put some kind of video out today keep my uh keep you peoples interested i don't know if you're interested in a mini pooper uh what else we got interesting here uh got a cop car fuzz uh actually it was here um, he whacked something on the curb and busted the knuckle so i rebuilt the whole front end i was just waiting on one wheel bearing to come and it actually finally showed up and i can get that off to the lineman shop i've got a 2017 pro Ma pro master city van with a no start they tell me today that it's run hot a couple of times but the guy drove it home shut it off and then it wouldn't restart so Charge the battery up now. We'll see what happened to it. Uh, I still got that 96 Bronco in there on the lift. Um, it started out as a two inch lift and it has um, since snowballed, which for some odd reason, this is like the triangle of projects to snowball. Started out as a two inch suspension lift. I get into it. It's a really nice truck. It's got 63,000 miles on it, but it's sat. So it's a little crusty underneath, not like rotten, but just some stuff's crusty. Like all the adjustment sleeves on the tie rods, are so rusty that you can't turn them. I've heated them up and they wouldn't turn, so the guy said, replace it. Well, then I found a ball joint that was a little loose, replace it. So now it's turned into full brake job, some brake lines, um, ball joints, tie rods. It, yeah, it's kind of snowballed. Then he called me and says, oh, I'll go ahead and put a Flowmaster muffler on it while you got it on the lift. Add more to it. So it's in there. Uh, ran out of oxygen for the torches yesterday, so I had to go out today, get the bottle, swapped out, because I got to heat up the, uh, the lower ball joints. The nut is so rusted, it's almost not even a shape anymore. So I tried heating one up. I'm just going to cut them off with the torch because replacing the ball joints. So I'll work on that here in a little while. I just wanted to get my eyeballs on this Cooper and see if I could figure out what was wrong with it so I can give this guy make him some kind of offer on the car because he either which way the car needed to be fixed he was either going to pay me to fix the car but he's got a jeep here he wants some work done on so we might do a little swap off for the work on the jeep for the mini pooper so it's a win-win for both of us he wants to get his jeep fixed i want a little pos for a uh, beater car um i don't i don't really own anything four cylinder other than the toyota forerunner um i do have a 08 focus but I just can't see myself. I'd rather drive the Mini Pooper for the Focus. Oh, it's just me. At least the Cooper stick. So that's about all that's going on on the channel. Um, for somebody asks, no, nothing has happened on the Rat Wrecker project. Uh, in fact, the front end is uh, still sitting there. It's all cleaned up. Everything's here for the front end. New struts, patrol arms, everything time i am just loaded up on some customer work that i really need to knock out of here um a lot of broken down gms here uh, i've got uh finally got the fuel lines and tank and everything taken care of and that thing got her back to running and now it runs like shit truck ran like pearl before other than the lines were rotted out and leaking um, i did a set of cylinder heads on that truck it's a 6.0 did heads and a bunch of other stuff to it had it run and run really really well and um, then it started leaking fuel. I smelled fuel every time I stopped. Uh, called a guy and he says, just put new lines on. So I did that. Well, now it wants to run like crap. So we've got some kind of mystery. When you start it up cold, it runs beautiful. Get some heat in the engine, it starts to run rich. Like a, like an old car with a carburetor and a choke slam shut. That's what it runs like. So I got a die, I get figured out. I just was irritated and walked away from it yesterday. Uh, behind it is another Chevy truck, GMC Sierra. Uh, it's got a drop lifter. Don't know if it tore the camshaft up. It runs, but it's just tap and tap, 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 tap. So, 
off with the cylinder heads on that thing and see what's destroyed, what's fixable, what's not. Um, that one there just did brakes on. That thing right there has got a mystery. Whenever it feels like it, when it's another GM, whenever it feels like it, just be riding along and it just cuts right off. And as she says, cut it right back on. And it'll cut off. Cut it back on. And then it might not do it for two or three days. I love those problems. So I've driven it a couple of times. The problem is that car's always had the check engine light on for the last year and a half. It's got a cat code and she knows it. She don't want to put a cat on it. She doesn't, she's going to drive it until the tags go dead and then figure it out. So it's always got it's always got EVAP code and it always has a cat code. And she knows it. So every time you go to scan it, those are right there. So it's kind of like, oh, where do I begin with this turd? Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's, there's some cool stuff here. There's a lightning here for uh, a rear. I'm going to do a rear uh, gear swap and um, posi swap and a, and a lightning that's down there. Uh, there's an S10 down there with a wish list. Uh, I get some brake lines, transmission lines, a bunch of other little, little doodads. That's pretty much it. The phone's ringing off the hook for somebody to bring in more junk. There'll be more junk here by the end of the week. So look, how at your boy. Keep it reels. I'm going to take another peepers here at this thing, and um, I'll let you know what I find in the next video. How at your boy. Keep it real.